when my dad and I got finished with uh, all of our jobs we had down here in the south. Uh, day and a half, two and a half days early. So turkey season opened yesterday. So we bought turkey tags, headed up here. And uh, we've already seen two flocks. No, no toms, just hens so far. But this is where I picked up a couple browns last year. So just heading up this elk trail. It's been hit pretty good. My dad's heading up on the next ridge over. So hopefully we can find some sheds and hear a couple gobbles so we can chase some birds in the morning and look for sheds in the afternoon. So that's the plan. No sheds yet, but just found this little guy. Big old porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. So I'm just under a mile into my hike. I was gonna do the ridge back there and I just had a gut feeling to come this way. I got blue on my hand from spraying uh, for my job today. But anyways, I had a gut feeling to come up on this ridge. I've never been on this ridge before. Started coming up right here. I was gonna go down the ridge towards the truck. Saw the skyline back up here behind me. Thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go up to that skyline follow each side of the ridge brown elk walking right up here came right through here and boom looks like a five i'm so stoked yes let's go check it out Sweet brown five point. I might drop my pack and look around for a minute. Heck yes. Ah, oh, so stoked. So I'm pretty stoked, man. Third brown of the year. And uh, gotta love those white burrs. Didn't have a lot of time, it's getting dark, so did some zigzags back behind me here up to the top of the ridge. But my dad, he's found a lot more elk sheds than I have in my life. And he's got a theory that a lot of bulls he's found sets of drop their right side first, follow the tracks forward, and finds the left side. Um, that was the case with my big set that I found a couple weeks ago. So this is the right side, his tracks are going that way, which I haven't been down there yet. So I'm gonna head down there before it gets dark and hopefully match this, this boy up. It's just a small five, so no guarantees it'll be close by, but maybe I'll find something else. Hopefully I'll get lucky. We're also trying to hunt turkeys, so maybe I'll find a turkey. And uh, yeah, just having fun up in the mountains with my dad. It's awesome. So I just dropped into this bottom and uh, it's an awesome grassy meadow and up at the top there's a bald bull all the way up from the Ezra. He's the only one I see, but uh, I'm gonna walk the edge of this and maybe I'll find a shed and hopefully we get lucky. He doesn't have hardly any growth. He looks like a pretty small bull, so let's cross our fingers. So there ended up being seven or eight bald bulls in this big meadow so i just left him up at the end of it feeding um, i'm gonna come back in here tomorrow when i have more daylight and uh, i watched four of them come off the hill so it gives me a good idea where they're bedding and uh sheds have got to be probably somewhere between where they're bedding and this grassy meadow would be my guess so the first four bulls were tiny bulls, but the last three bulls 
looked like they were pretty big bulls and they had quite a bit of growth already so um, hopefully tomorrow's gonna be awesome well, my dad and i just split up drove around this morning for a little bit never saw any turkeys i heard one gobbling this morning from our trailer and then shortly after i heard a boom <laughs> so we didn't uh, leave the trailer until about seven uh we slept in a little bit this morning but uh just going to try and find some sheds now and uh we'll see how it goes i'm just on this game trail right here coming up out of these meadows so headed back in where i saw those bulls last night and i'm gonna spend uh six or seven hours back in there and hope i get lucky and uh, maybe see a turkey too so real quick tip um for me anyways i like to uh the top of the ridge is up there the bottom's way down there so i found this game trail that i'm on it runs right down the center now i can see pretty well to the bottom this way and pretty well to the top through through spots this way so when i'm trying to find the zone um, i'd try to do something like this get kind of mid face where i can see almost to the top if not to the top and almost to the bottom if not to the bottom and once i find a shed then i'll start you know doing tighter grids or whatever but this way you know i, I can see a lot of hillside on a, a straight line so that's how i do it anyway so it's been about two minutes since i did that little tip video walking this trail and uh i'll flip you guys around brown elk baby Let's go check it out. Right on the trail, like right on the trail. Looks like a pretty small antler, but it actually might be the other side of that bull I picked up last night. <clears throat> I'm not far from there. Oh, it's already chewed up. Smaller bull. Pretty chewed up already. That's awesome. See, I was just walking right along this little trail, and that was laying right in the trail. A little rag, it's brown. So my goal today was uh, two browns and a turkey. So I got one of the browns out of the way, but uh, I'm only 20 minutes into my hike today, so I'm finally figuring out the elk sheds here in New Mexico and uh, it feels good. Update, it's been probably about five hours since I found this little guy. I just about shot a turkey a minute ago. It's coming off the top of this ridge trying to go between two ridge points headed back towards my dad and just found a shed it looks brown on my binos but it is chewed up so either it's been on the ground for a minute or it's from last year i'm not sure but we'll walk up and check it out chew the burr in half that's crazy and then like that whole point that point kind of nuts so no turkeys this morning last night right before dark we went to a spot we usually see elk and uh saw a couple bald bulls so we came over just parked the truck is like right there and we just split up and he starts hooping and his goal for today was one brownie and he's on the board with the brownie we'll get the pickup yeah here. buddy there it is looks Jer like a small five jerry's like are you serious and i go I'm we've serious. literally been hiking for like two seconds a, a minute two minutes <laughs> that's awesome Four point. 
Five. <laughs> oh, really fresh. Yeah? Really fresh. Sweet. Yeah. Take a look at it. Take a look at how fresh that is. Heck yeah. That's yeah. awesome. First brownie shed other than the dead spike brownies I found. That's so awesome. Sweet. That paid off right away. That yeah, makes... and there's a dead animal. Where's that? Yeah. Spine right there too. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So let's Sweet. keep let's we're keep going. Find, we're gonna find some more. It. So it's super windy. So hopefully you can hear me. But we came to the second place where we saw some bald bulls last night, and I was zigzagging this top up here. The bulls are down off the bottom yesterday, and I got to this point here, and I saw my dad right down here so I just started working straight to him and uh, my first side-by-side -side set of my life and they're brown and they're laying on top of each other so I'm gonna flip her around it was awesome he was excited I'm right excited between us man it was awesome my dad was there so I just stopped here to wait for him and I looked down and boom they're just laying on top of each other unreal Hopefully you can hear me, it's super windy. Six by six set, ground, on top of each other. Look at those, look at those white birds. Heck yeah! Yeah, he's a runner. Okay, so Jeremy just picked up his, just found his first set, laying on top of each other, a six by six. He's just putting his hands on them. Wow, how much, how cool is that, buddy? I'm so excited. This is what I really wanted this season was a side-by-side -side brown set. Yeah. And uh, he's not a giant, but. Well, there's three more sets in here somewhere. Yeah, we saw four bulls in here last night that were bald. So we're gonna spend some time in here and hopefully pick them up. Hope you guys can hear me, it's super windy. Good job. <laughs> so we're sitting here. I just picked up my set right there. And here and they are, right here. We're just like, we're just sitting here talking about what our plan is to find these other sides. And we look up and here I'll put something. Around. And my dad goes, that's a horn right there. And I said, yeah, it is. There's a horn. It ain't as big as this one. Let's I go walk think. up to it. Might be a set Hopefully there's too. a set there. We're hoping. Looks like a five point. We're gonna find some sheds in here, Dad. It's brown, for sure. Oh, it's a freak. It's a freak? Yeah, it's a freak. Oh, yeah. There's blood on him right there. Yeah. Hey, look, his arm. Bent pedicle. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. Let me see that. Check out this pedicle. Bent pedicle. That's so cool. That's fresh. That one's fresh. Yeah, that one's fresher. That All right, right, let's find here. them. The other one's right here somewhere, buddy. Ah! So our final count was nine sheds, seven browns, one set. So that was pretty awesome. That freaky bent pedestal bull's pretty cool. I just still can't believe all the chewing, how much they chewed these things up. Just kind of crazy, but brown too. yeah, those are both brown antlers and they've been chewed this one still has blood a drop of blood on it so i don't think it was on the ground for very long so anyways pretty awesome trip my best trip probably ever especially for browns definitely for browns so i'm pretty stoked what do you think dad i think this is pretty freaking awesome it was a fun trip heck yeah so we my just got are sore but well <laughs> worth it yeah so we're just gonna <laughs> load up the trailer Already got the side by side. We didn't even use it, so we just left the spray rig for my business in the back and 
Just left it parked here in front of the trailer so nobody could steal our trailer. Unfortunately, we have to worry about that in the, this day and age. But yeah, we're checking out. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.